Brendan Kelson was the director of the Australian War Memorial from 1990 until 1994, after having been the deputy director for some years before that. He should not be confused with the current director, Brendan Nelson. In the early 1990s, allegations of harassment were raised by a War Memorial staff member. Kelson and his deputy director became the subject of an inquiry performed by the Public Sector Merit Review Board, kind of like an overarching agency to manage public servants. They were told by the investigators that if the investigation produced any information adverse to any person, including them, there would be an opportunity to respond to that information. Now, the investigation seems to have been amateurish in almost every way. One of its problems was a failure to even specify the particulars of the allegations, a pretty fundamental breach of the requirements of natural justice. In addition, even though they clearly had information which was adverse to Mr Kelson, he was not given an opportunity to respond. He tried to make his concerns known through official channels, but ultimately he went to the federal court to appeal the investigator's decision to provide their report to the relevant minister on the basis that the report shouldn't have gone forward without him having an opportunity to have his say. The Commission, on the other hand, argued that this was a mere stepping stone in the process and that merely reporting findings to the Minister did not have any final, substantive or determinative effect. The Court disagreed. Justice Finn said, The nature of the Minister's request in this case was, at the least, to establish the possible existence of workplace harassment at the Australian War Memorial. If that phenomenon was found and if identifiable individuals were found to be its perpetrators and were so reported on, that, without more in my view, would in this instance constitute a reviewable decision. Irrespective of whether the Minister considered it necessary or desirable to initiate consequential steps, whether against those individuals or otherwise, and irrespective of whether the MPRA in its report recommended consequential measures. From this case, we learn how difficult it can sometimes be to identify whether a decision is final, operative or determinative, and therefore whether the decision can be reviewed. Even a decision which looks intermediate might be operative. It might affect a person's rights, privileges and obligations and might therefore be reviewable.